The constant attacks on oil installations and gas pipelines by the Niger Delta Avengers has no doubt affected the nation's revenue base in terms of its output. The attacks led to the call for dialogue by the federal government with the militant groups responsible for the bombing. But the question raised is, which of the militant groups is the federal government currently negotiating with? Though some Nigerians believe that the federal government is negotiating with the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta men, some say that dialogue is not the absolute solution to the crisis. Since some of the groups, particularly the Avengers, say they are not negotiating with government. But are they talking to the right people? Because uh, the people who are behind the people who are behind the criminality directly are saying that they are not talking to the to the federal government. Uh, another organization, men, claims to be talking to the federal government. To the best of my knowledge, it's been a while that men has uh, has uh, been involved in any any vandalization or this thing. So, if the Avengers are not talking to the federal government, who are they talking to? Men. So are they just doing it as a routine or exhibitionistic this thing with a view to telling the populace that they, they are talking to people? So it's a bit confusing. It calls for thorough you know, um, investigation. Go government needs to you know, do a lot of intelligence you know, to find out indeed who are those behind this group so that they can identify the actual leaders of the, of this group so that they know who to, who to relate with. Because the problem is that when they begin to negotiate with one group, another group emerges, you know. So it's getting complicated. And so government also needs to, you know, um, do some uh, in-depth, you know, uh, has to, you know, you know, put its act together to be able to really go to get to the root of this, this, uh, you know. They are urging the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, ensure restructuring of the Niger Delta region and attend to their demands. According to them, good governance and adequate attention should be given to the people of the region. The principle of negotiation in, in such circumstances is just that the two sides are buying time with a view to reinforcing their instrument of coercion. Don't be fooled. Even if the federal government is negotiating with men giving a pretense to the Avengers that they are amenable to being talked to or talking to them does not mean that the federal government, you know, if they are smart, as most nations do, does not mean that they shouldn't be further strengthening the, the you know, machinery of cohesion exclusive to governments. Again, I think government helps to complicate these problems. Because when you open fire on a group of people making demands, you radicalize them. You make them resort to, you know, to, to, to terror. And, and I think that is what is really happening. And I think that government is the one complicating the, pro the, the problem of, you know, militancy in, in, in this country. You know, so by and large, yes, n negotiation is one option. But also, uh, when it becomes difficult for government to add to assuage these groups, then government has to find out other means of restoring order. The question posed is, if the federal government eventually succeeds in negotiating with the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta MEND, will it appease the Niger Delta Avengers and the reformed Niger Delta Avengers?